the first thing that we suggest you do when we set up our um, you know, uh, kit for field recording is to set up your Tascam audio recorder. So the first thing we want to do is put in the batteries. So you move the door on the back. It takes four AA batteries. Put in the SD card, you'll lift this up. SD card will go in facing up like that. Okay, to power on, it's this button here. Hold it down. Okay. So enter. Sure, you want to use phantom power. Okay, to format your card, you go in menu, scroll all the way down to others, system, and go to quick format, enter. Enter again, and you use this jog wheel, and you press it in to enter it. This is say, you know, quick format, all data erased, are you sure? Um, you hit the stop button if you're not sure, you hit enter. Um, if you're sure, we're going to hit enter. And it's going to take a few minutes here and it's going to format your card. Okay, and you press menu to go back levels in the menu. Now, um, thing is, is that this hold button right here, um, right here, you want to make sure that this is not up. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, you don't want to see that red dot. You want to make sure that it's down. Um, if it's up, uh, you cannot adjust any controls or anything on the recorder. So you want to make sure that it's down. It also means you may not have any, any, any level, audio levels. <coughs> Plug in the headphones. The headphone jack goes right in here. It's going to go right there. And then you have your levels here for your headphone jacks. Um, so this is where you set your levels. I would start at a level five or six. Um, again, this is for uh, what feels comfortable uh, for you in your headphones, not what is actually um, how loud your signal actually is. Okay. Um, Typically, plug in here, and you're going to have the uh, three pins, and they're going to go right in like that. To remove the XLR, you just simply press in this uh, silver button, and it'll allow you to remove the XLR cable. You can now turn this off, power this off, and we'll put it away. Uh, for a few minutes. Now, the way that it goes into the uh, field recorder bag is it will have this little pocket. The pocket is going to be front facing and you want this um, uh, mount to go facing the, the pocket because you're going to want to be looking at this and having it face you. So you just open up the um, little flap here and you set the recorder in uh, just like that. Now the bag has um, little entrance compo uh, components on each side. So I'm just gonna pull this out. This is so that you can put cables in there. So on this side, you'll notice that there is uh, headphones or a phone. Um, this is your levels for your headphones. Um, and that's where you uh, put your headphone monitors in. On the other side is you have one and two. That's for your XLR or microphone um, cables. That, that's where those go. So we'll just put this in here like that, and we'll set it aside for now. The other thing that you can do now uh, while you have that set up is you can pull out your headphone monitors, okay? These are Sony MDR7506s. They are flat fre frequency response uh, headphones, so they don't color the sound. That is 
unlike some headphones that boost the bass frequencies, um, these actually replicate what you're hearing, which is, which is what you want in the field. So you simply take the eighth inch jack, you go through the side pocket, and you put it into the phone input, and that is all done, and then you can close up that Velcro, and that is set. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to take out the boom pole. This is a telescoping boom pole. Most of our boom poles, uh, as you'll notice, have an internally uh, cabled uh, XLR cable that runs inside of the, of the boom pole, the male end being at the bottom and the female end being at the top. Um, these should come with the knuckles loosened, so you can just telescope these um, you know, out. Um, and what, these are called knuckles right here, and these are the telescoping rods. Um, and basically, you know, to loosen these, it should be a half turn um, one way to loosen and a half turn in the other way to tighten. So you extend this, and then you tighten the knuckle. You know, it may take more than that, or a full turn, and that's tight. So it doesn't take a lot of loosening and tightening, um, you know, and turning of those rods. Now, now when you turn the knuckles, you know, you don't want to be turning the actual telescoping uh, pole itself. So I'm going to just extend this uh, to a length that makes me feel happy, and that's going to be that. So, um, you know, set this to about the approximate length of which you want to use your boom pole. You can always extend it more um, once you're, you're ready to go. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to affix the Zeppelin to the top of it. It mounts onto here. Now the You'll notice there is a 3 8 thread on the bottom of the pistol grip. Now, the way that we want to set this up is you loosen this silver uh, release and it will allow uh, you to adjust the angle on the boom pole, uh, uh, excuse me, on the Zeppelin. The thing about this is you want to set this at about a 30 degree angle. So, uh, uh, right there, you know, is not what we want. We want it at about a 30 degree angle, which is going to be something about like this. Okay, something about like this. So it's going to look in, in that sort of ballpark. Um, to affix it to the boom pole itself, you would take this thread on the bottom. And the important thing here is you want to make sure that this rod is tightened and you want to thread the um, the boom, uh, the, the boom pole uh, to the bottom of the Zeppelin spinning the Zeppelin itself. You don't want to be spinning the rods. After that, you connect this uh, 